Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around these parts, my name is Carolyn and today's video is going to be all about my 2017 beauty favorites. I know it's the middle of January, but I hope you can excuse this late upload. Um, I personally like watching beauty favorites no matter what time of the month, but that's just me. Um, I apologize again <laughs> that this is a late upload, but I have a ton of products that I'm gonna be talking about because I actually haven't uploaded a monthly favorites video in quite some time. So all these products that I'm about to mention, I've really had the time to try them out and I've grown to love them. There are gonna be products that I use on a daily basis. And I also chose products that um, I didn't mention in my 2016 beauty favorites. I really wanted to shine a spotlight on products that were new to me. These products aren't necessarily new launches for the year of 2017. They're just new things in my life, in my routine. But yeah, without further ado, grab a snack because I have a lot of products to talk about. I have skincare, body care, hair care, and I have makeup. So definitely grab something to eat, maybe a little drink to drink, and let's get started with this 2017 Green Beauty Favorites. So the first thing that I have is a cleanser, and this is by Derma E. This is the Even Tone Brightening Cleanser with licorice extract, vitamins B3 and C. So I love using this day and night. I love how this takes off makeup, and with this facial cleanser, it does not sting my eyes at all, so I can really get into the eye area and take off my mascara, um, take off any like eyeshadow that I have. But if you have like a full face of glam like I have on my face right now, I would suggest doing an oil cleanse first and then using this like as a second step. Um, this is cruelty free, GMO free, gluten free, soy free, recyclable. It's also sulfate free and it's pH balance. It smells citrusy, it smells awesome. But yeah, highly recommend this. I love the pump, you can lock it. Um, you can unlock it, so I take it with me for travel. So yeah, love this. A, another cleanser that I have is from the brand Mun or Moon. I forget how to pronounce <laughs> this brand, but this is their Aqui Purifying Cleanser. It's kind of like an oil cleanser in a way. There's just a ton of rich ingredients like castor seed oil, argan oil, there's camellia seed oil, rice bran oil, just a ton of awesome ingredients. It says it's a gentle pH balance formula, leaves skin soft and moisturized, sweeps away impurities and unclogs pores, removes waterproof makeup and sunscreens, and is suitable for all skin types. So it's it kind of feels like a thick lotion when you pump it out. Um, I think I actually ran out of this right now. It's also in a glass bottle, so it feels super luxe. It's heavy and weighty. Um, but it feels like almost like a lotion, like an oily lotion in your hands and you apply it onto a dry face if you have like a lot of makeup. This is what I love to use to take off makeup, like the makeup I'm wearing today off. And it smells so wonderful and like just kind of fresh and florally. It kind of has like a cucumber smell in it because it does have cucumber seed oil. So yeah, this is just a really awesome like makeup remover, oil cleanser if you feel like you have a lot of gunk on your face. But yeah, if you have if you want to splurge on an oil cleanser, I would highly recommend this particular cleanser because it just it feels so luxurious. Next up, I have the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum. This is what my bottle looks like. I'm almost done with it and I need to finish it up. Um, basically, I picked this up because I get a lot of like clogged pores and blackheads on my nose. Like that's my problem area. And I figured I should introduce a serum to kind of prevent that from happening so often. So this has salicylic acid in it and salicylic acid is great for exfoliating your skin on like a chemical level. Um, this serum is very light, very thin in consistency. It smells kind of citrusy, but not too heavy on the citrus. Um, and it absorbs immediately into the skin. So if you have like oily skin, acne prone skin, or just like blackhead prone skin, I would highly recommend introducing this 
um, into your routine because I just found that it helped prevent my skin from getting all clogged and gunky. Next up, I have a beauty oil that I have been absolutely loving. Loving since, I wanna say October. Did I get this in October or November? I'm not too sure. But this is the Derma E Radiant Glow Face Oil. This was made as a collaboration with Sunkiss Alba, Alba Garcia here on YouTube. I've, she's like one of the OG YouTubers I watched when I started on my journey to more natural products. This facial oil is just so nice. It has jojoba oil, it has argan oil, um, it has sea buckthorn oil, and it has a bit of mica particles in it to add like a subtle glitter. Well, not glitter, I wanna say shimmer. So when you apply it on your face, it, you're not gonna look like a disco ball. I don't wanna scare you. <laughs> um, but it just adds this like extra radiance to it. And the oils in here are just so moisturizing and nice. I My skin has been drinking it up because it's been a little bit drier here in Southern California since it's winter time. And you can use this on your body as well. You can use it in your hair. I like adding a couple of drops in my hair if it's feeling particularly dry. And it just smells so nice as well. It's just, it smells just so comforting. And it's really a great oil if you're looking for a new beauty oil. I highly recommend this. Another moisturizer that I have is from a brand called Jivy. Jivy? I'm not too sure, but I know it is founded by two brothers and this is their grandma's name, the name of the brand. This is their moisturizer with sun protection. This is in the cucumber sage scent. They do have one in a lavender scent, um, but I got this in my Good Being box last month for December, I believe. I wanna say it's December. Um, I'll link that video up in the top corner here if you wanna watch that. But basically this pump, Okay, it looks weird. That was like my initial thought when I got this. But what's cool about this moisturizer is that it looks kind of like greenish blue um, when you pump it out, but it actually blends in clear. Like it will just blend in without that tint. And the smell of this is awesome too. It smells very fresh herbally because of that cucumber and sage together and it just makes your skin feel so nice it's really great if you have um, oily skin I don't know if, if you have dry skin I don't know if you would like it um, but like look there's no tint whatsoever I think that's awesome and it just gives you a nice like nourished matte feeling if that makes sense all there is in here is aloe vera juice shea butter olive oil zinc oxide emulsifying wax from coconut and palm trees vegetable glycerin jojoba oil microalgae cucumber peel rosemary vitamin e and an, and an essential oil blend it's like super simple i love this for just everyday use. Um, I don't use it at nighttime, I just use it during the daytime. I'm not too sure, it does say with sun protection, but on the packaging it doesn't say um, the SPF rating of this, I wish it did. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a moisturizer for oily skin, check this one out. Moving on to eye creams, so I have two for you. This first one I got, I think in my November Good Being box, I wanna say. This is the Sahajan, or Sahajan, I'm not too sure how to pronounce this name, um, but this is their restorative eye cream, and this is an organic Ayurvedic blend. I think this had turmeric in it, but this eye cream is really moisturizing. I feel like it's kind of helped with my fine lines. I don't know, maybe it's like a placebo effect. I really like how moisturizing this is. Doesn't sting my eyes. It's not too thick, it's just like the right consistency. It does have like a brownish tint to it, but I don't notice it staining my skin at all. Um, so yeah, love this. And then the second eye cream that I have is from My Shell Dermaceuticals. This is their Perfect C eye cream. It's supposed to brighten and hydrate. So this is like a pretty penny. I think this is about like 20 bucks and you get 0.5 fluid ounces. This is kind of like a thinner consistency than the Sahajan 
one. Um, I like using this at nighttime to kind of like brighten up my under eyes. Um, it is moisturizing, but it also is kind of firming in a way too. That's what I notice. Um, so yeah, I think this is also helping my fine lines. I don't know, but I really enjoy this eye cream. Moving on to face masks. The first one that I have is a hydrating mask and this is from Pacifica. This is the Wake Up Beautiful Super Hydration Sleep Over Mask. So it's supposed to replenish and quench your beauty sleep and it has floral cells, quinoa, and mushrooms in it. It's for dry and combination skin types. So I just use this as a nighttime moisturizer if my skin is feeling super dry. Um, I love that it's super thick. It does have quite a strong fragrance to it. Like all Pacifica products have like a strong scent pretty much and this one does have like a strong I would say fresh floral scent it's not powdery in my eyes um, but if you have dry skin combo skin um, I think you'll really like this if you have oily skin I don't think you would um, but if you need that extra hydration I think you would really love this when I wake up in the morning my face feels just so supple and like baby soft it's amazing um, one tip with this particular face mask don't put it under your eyes um, kind of keep it below your eyes because i find that this sleeping um, mask actually kind of travels up the eye area and when you wake up you might feel like you have stuff in your eyes it doesn't sting or anything but like you can definitely feel that some product made it to your eyes but yeah this is really awesome um, if you have dry skin and you just need that extra like moisture punch <laughs> now the next face mask that i'm going to talk about is perfect if you have oily skin or if you have acne prone skin and this is the lamisa by glow recipe green tea mask that is supposed to clarify and brighten your skin now i got this at target um, you can actually find it um, in select targets and the lady there convinced me to get this um, i follow glow recipe on instagram so i saw the promos for this and all that and this mask lives up to the hype. It's so good. If you've ever tried the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay before, you know how intense that clay mask is. And for it to be like super effective, it's best to add apple cider vinegar. So some people don't necessarily like that smell. Um, this clay mask actually smells so pleasant. It smells like green tea. So it has more of like an earthier scent to it. Also, the texture of this clay mask is light and it's like whipped. It feels so nice on the skin. This is what it looks like. There's little kale flecks. I don't know if you can see in there um, in the jar itself. And it doesn't dry down to an intense feeling. Like it doesn't get super dry on your face. It does dry down a little bit. It is a clay mask, but it doesn't make your face pulsate like the Aztec Indian healing mask <laughs> has like the longest name um, but when you rinse off this mask your skin feels just so soft and clean at the same time i love applying this on my nose area um, because i get a lot of blackheads and fog pores and whatnot and i love applying it to any areas where i have like little bumps or pimples um, so if you have oily acne prone skin i highly recommend you pick this up at your local target if your target carries it um, because it's just so gentle but it's so effective at the same time so I love this and I want to try more from this collaboration um, of Lamisa and Glow Recipe because they have like a toner they have like a facial moisturizer they have a cleanser um, but yeah if anything I highly recommend this mask and to round out my skincare favorites for 2017, I have a physical sunscreen right here. This is by the brand Herbaviva. I think that's how you pronounce their brand. I'm so sorry. This is like my first time coming across this brand, but this is, yeah, Herbaviva. I want to say this is their SPF 30 sunscreen. It's a completely natural broad spectrum sunscreen for children and adults. Um, so this does have zinc oxide, it has 20% zinc oxide in it. So it's going to have that white tint that you really have to blend in. Um, I like using it in um, smaller portions, so I'll do like one layer of a small amount and then layer up again just so my face is covered and I don't get a white cast at the same time. I really enjoyed this in the summer um, and I 
didn't burn with this sunscreen. I brought it with me on a couple of camping trips. I put it on my body as well. Didn't burn, um, so I would definitely pick this up again. It is, I would say it's a little bit more blendable than the other physical sunscreens that I've tried personally. But if you do have a deeper complexion, I don't know if you would necessarily like this because it does have that white zinc oxide cast to it. But I found this to be like super moisturizing. It is slightly oily, but I didn't feel like super greasy. But yeah, I just really like the sunscreen. All right, on my list, moving on to body Body care. I don't have the products with me. I've actually used them up. I haven't repurchased them, but I really want to. Um, the first thing I have up is the Alba Botanica Body in the Buff Espresso Body Scrub. That is so amazing. I love that it comes in a squeezy tube. I'm going to put like a picture on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. I love that it comes in a squeezy tube, one, because it's just so much cleaner in the shower. You don't have to, you know, like worry about scooping up a scrub from a jar. I, I'm not a fan of body scrubs that come in jars because then like you might get water into the container and then sometimes they're like super messy but the um, Alba Botanica body scrub in the tube it's actually more of a liquidy consistency and the granules in it are a little bit smaller too but I feel like they still give a good exfoliation I love the scent of the espresso one um, it's just I love the smell of coffee so it just awakens your sen senses to me at least um, and I have tried their, I think it was like their gray volcanic one. I mentioned it in an empties video. Um, if you want to watch my body care, um, empties video, I've tried that one out before. It's not my favorite. I definitely like the espresso and coffee one a lot better. The next body care favorite that I loved in 2017 was the Kiss My Face Shave Cream. So it comes in a decent size pump bottle and it's basically just a natural shaving cream. It lathers up really well. It almost feels like skin to mint, skin to mint. <laughs> um, those like mainstream like shaving creams that come in the metal aerosol cans. It's not like it's natural. It's made with natural ingredients. The one I tried was the mint or spearmint scent one and that one just like left your body feeling like super tingly like you put on your legs and they feel just like super cool and um, refreshed. So I highly recommend that because it just conditions your leg um, your body so well for a shave um, and they come in a bunch of different scents too but I really like the peppermint minty one. The last body care favorite um, that I liked in 2017 was the Seaweed Bath Company Citrus Vanilla Body Cream or Body Lotion. I forget the exact name of it um, but that body cream is just so awesome. It has not a thin consistency, not a thick consistency. It's it's somewhere in the middle. And the, the scent smells so yummy. It smells like an orange creamsicle. You feel super hydrated when you put it on, but not greasy. And yeah, I just really love that body cream because it felt moisturizing without being heavy. You don't get that lotion legs feeling. I hate that feeling where like it takes forever for the lotion to absorb into your skin. Oh, I just, I loved that body lotion and I'll repurchase it once I run out of the oils and body lotions that I have currently. Moving on to hair care favorites, I only have two. And the first one, let me grab it real quick. My first hair care favorite is from Briogeo and this is their Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I have seen so many people talk about this shampoo and yeah, it's a shampoo. It comes in a jar, it's kind of weird, I know. But this stuff, I believe, I truly believe that it lives up to the hype. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's just like a grayish, blue grayish kind of paste or cream. I would say it's more like a cream, not a paste. Um, and it smells delicious. It smells like Thin Mints, like Girl Scout cookie Thin Mints to me. It has that peppermint cocoa type of scent going on. It smells awesome. Basically you scoop some out and you work it into your scalp and it kind of 
foams up just a little bit, but it's really great if you have like a dry, flaky, itchy scalp, or if you use like a lot of dry shampoo and you have like a lot of buildup. Um, I use this almost every time I take a shower. Just wanna let you know, I only wash my hair like every three or four days. Um, so I do get quite a bit of buildup, but I also have like a dry, flaky scalp. It's, it's weird. Um, this really helps with the itchiness. It helps really clean my hair without stripping it. I wouldn't recommend using it like every single day if you're the person who has to wash their hair every day. Don't use this every day. I would say like maybe once a week for you. But if you go like long periods of time in between like washing your hair, I think you'd, you could use this every time you wash your hair. Um, but yeah, this just makes my scalp feel clean. It makes my scalp tingle because I believe it has menthol in it. There's no sulfates in here, there's no parabens. It's not exactly the cleanest hair care line, but um, this is like a really great product that does have some really benef beneficial ingredients that I personally like, so yeah. It's a pricey penny for this full size, but I think it's just so worth it. They finally came out with like a smaller like travel size for like 11 bucks. So if you've been meaning to try it out, Find your local Sephora that carries Briogeo and try the sample one at least because this, this just feels so nice and it smells so good. The last hair care favorite that I have is from Giovanni. This is their Too Chic line. They come in a bunch of different colors because I think they have like different ingredients. This one has avocado and olive oil. This is the Ultra Moist Leave-In Conditioning and Styling Elixir for dry, damaged hair. So it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner slash gel cream. Um, I like applying this in damp hair. It says it's supposed to strengthen hair for style control, softens and smooths away frizz, nourishes with vitamins and omega fatty acids, and it helps for prevent split ends. So I picked this up at Sprouts. You can find this like at Sprouts, Whole Foods, online health stores and whatnot. And yeah, it just smells really nice and fresh. Um, I think it kind of smells like Pantene from what I remember. I used this the other day, but I can't remember. Yeah, it kind of smells like Pantene, but it has better ingredients. Is It's not, I would say like it's pretty natural for what it is. It's really inexpensive in terms of like natural hair care. If you're not used to natural hair care, then it's gonna be a little bit pricey in your eyes. But I use probably like one pump throughout my hair and my hair is pretty coarse and dry. Maybe like one or two pumps, it just depends. So yeah, I really like using this on damp hair and then like braiding my hair or using it on damp hair and then blow drying my hair. So yeah, if you have dry hair, I highly recommend this. All right, and that does it for my 2017 beauty favorites. Thank you so much if you made it this far. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Did you have any favorites in common with me or did you have different favorites? I would love to know in the comment section down below. I plan on uploading a lot more often this year. Like that is, that is my goal. I have a new camera or I have a new laptop so I can edit things a lot faster. So yeah, it's gonna be a new Carolyn in 2018. I can't wait to see what this year has in store. I can't wait to see all the new product launches and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.